To the UAW strike now, a meeting with Ford yesterday ended with the union shutting down one of Ford's largest plants. And today, Stellantis is in the hot seat. No word yet if the company made a new counteroffer during that formal meeting this morning. The Auburn Hills company has already laid off hundreds of workers downriver due to the ongoing strike. CBS News Detroit's Andres Gutierrez is outside of the Trenton engine plant with a look at the impact it's now having on those furloughed workers. Hey, we're going to just wait it out. Whatever happens, happens. It's not like we're making the decisions. We're the victims of their decisions. Timothy Fleenery is among the 520 workers at Stellantis' Trenton engine plant thrown a curveball over the weekend. When I got there, they said, you're going home, Dubai. And even the management at my plant seemed to be taken by surprise. The automaker says they had to do it because of so-called storage constraints due to the strike happening at the Toledo assembly plant. Some of these people would check to check and they've got family, you know, large families or whatever. It's going to be hard for a lot of people. And since they don't qualify for state unemployment benefits or supplemental pay, Local 372 is helping them sign up to get a check from the union strike pay fund. They have to bring their personal information. They have to go in there sit at a table with the counselor and the counselor will walk them through on their on their phone how to register for strike pay. And it kicks in about eight days after registering. And the way it goes with strike pay is once you become eligible like they're they're registering today, you are allowed to make up to 499 without being penalized of losing your strike pay. So some people are taking second jobs. Some people are, you know, trying to get out there and hustle and bustle to do what they have to to make ends meet. She encourages the community to support those in need by making donations to local food pantries and animal shelters to help workers during these challenging times. I don't think we're collateral damage for stuff going on at the bargaining table, except that corporate is, is uh, the union sticking to their guns, which they should be. We haven't had any... Uh, gained anything back that we lost since 2008 2009 so we're looking to gain that back and so all eyes will once again be on facebook tomorrow morning at 10 when uaw president sean fain gives members an update on where bargaining stands and if we'll see another strike expansion in trenton andres gutierrez cbs news detroit